Hello, everyone. Uh, let's move to figure three. Uh, actually, so three and four are connected to each other. Uh, it's uh, starting to talking about the process. Uh, we don't talk that as the business uh, process, uh, which normally when we use that term in Archimate, uh, since this uh, meta uh, Archimate is the manufacturing company or factory. So uh, we are talking the manufacturing uh, process. So if you see from this uh, figure three, uh, it's starting to use this uh, light green. Uh, the color is uh, actually is in this uh, technology layer. Uh, so in the, uh, the next uh, view, uh, we will use uh, part of this uh, steel uh, the production. Uh, the the step of the process to link to the underlying uh, the sound detail uh, technology and the physical uh, the element, especially like this uh, factory is used as the physical the facility. Uh, so that's the more makes sense is uh, when we talk about the manufacturing process, we may not use a business process or even application process notation. So we direct go to the physical or we see technology process. Uh, so uh, let's do this uh, now. Uh, so uh, let's open the Archimetal model. So here we have some business uh, uh, parts uh, modeling, So, but uh, that is just for the cross uh, layer, uh, the mapping. So let's duplicate uh, this one and give the remaining figure 03 production and logistics process. So in the figure 04, it's more focused on this uh, production area, so, uh, but that's fine. So uh, we're starting uh, creating those, is, uh, let's just uh, drag. So we, uh, we use the business function to call uh, production and the logistic, because that is uh, kind of the business uh, a term. Uh, and to uh, connect them is uh, uh, is used the organization uh, which we already have that is our production center. Uh, so from now on is uh, uh, we will drag the existing uh, element if we already built. Uh, so that is the way so we uh, have the repository uh, concept uh, building uh, uh, gradually. So for the organization, or you can consider that uh, actually is uh, certain the production center teams, uh, we assign to uh, the different uh, business function. So you will use this assignment uh, relations. So then we know the those two business uh, function uh, are actually uh, the, uh, done by the production center. Uh, and then we have the, uh, the group so here, let's use uh, this uh, group, not use the, this, uh, uh, this group. So grouping is uh, part of the repository. This is not in the repository. So uh, let's have that physical production process. You see here is uh, called physical. So uh, that's the, also the uh, reason uh, we uh, actually use the, uh, the physical layer uh, here. Uh, to do the model. Uh, so then uh, we copy that and then make the rename logistics process. Then we will create a certain, this one. So technology process, actually technology and the physical are in the same, uh, the notation color coding. So uh, it's not a difference. So we have the raw material processing. Let's start to create, duplicate, and we have total six. So we have all this uh, element here that still making, asking. It's fine it's, uh, if you don't uh, familiar with those uh, detail uh, the term or uh, words uh, because it's a uh, uh, kind of the manufacturing uh, the, uh, areas uh, wording. 
but through reading the the case study, I hope you, you can get some familiar with, with the, the, this uh, different industry if you are not working on this. So uh, we, we can, can select all, make the appearance, uh, give some formatting if you want. So it looks like it's uh, all of uh, these uh, processes uh, uh, position is in the middle. So let's uh, make this clear. Uh, and, uh, between the processes, like the last view we did, the value stream is uh, normally we use trigger. So then you know the, uh, the this kind of the sequence. So let's make the trigger. This trigger that trigger that. So that's uh, good. We already connect uh, them, and the first uh, four process is belong to the first uh, group physical production. Let's make that enough size and select and put inside. So you see by default is a composition. Uh, we accept then we move this outside and make this inside here. So also the composition. And then through the group uh, of this uh, process, uh, you can uh, make that uh, uh, upper to uh, the business uh, function. But here is, uh, I, I would like is the, to change this uh, view because uh, if you uh, make this uh, connection, I think that's the realization. So it's allowed, so you realize this. Uh, but when we do the analysis, uh, for example, when we do this uh, visualization, so you click this uh, business function, you got our grouping, so grouping of the process. So, uh, but normally, so I want to uh, describe the story is, uh, is actually the physical process uh, realized the business function. So grouping is not like our clear uh, wording. So to me, is uh, I uh, normally, is, uh, I like to have this uh, nesting. Uh, the, the manner. So uh, I, I uh, will change this is, uh, to use our uh, the parents level uh, the process to uh, uh, replace the grouping. So and here uh, you can see uh, this uh, logic process. Uh, so I can select this, select this, then make that uh, say. You select this first, this second, the second will be your target. Then you choose this match size, then this first will be matched the second size. That, that is easier for you to make some uh, the formatting. So I will put that uh, here and nest it to the, this uh, upper level process. And I put this uh, here, the position is upper. Uh, and that similar, this one, I will put inside here. So that is my uh, most favorite is uh, because I want to see process actually is uh, be, uh, belong to the, the parents uh, process. Uh, so then this I switch to uh, this realization to my new uh, parents process. These two I will delete from model. So that is what I want to use instead of uh, the these uh, case studies, uh, uh, the uh, the modeling. So, and then uh, we can do some uh, the re parts. So you you can uh, consider now uh, is this uh, real uh, relations folder is uh, getting the no annoying. So remember our tip uh, we can. And uh, hide this uh, relation. Then this uh, you focus on your model. Uh, then what? What's this? Uh, I want to have this uh, hierarchy as well. So I have this uh, the physical process. Then I make a folder and the logistic uh, process. I make a folder and for the storage and transportations belong to this one and for the rest. Uh, uh, the not case one, this procural, this are belong to physical. So now is we have our 
technology, uh, the physical, and the, let's see in fact the physical processes, and let's uh, move that to inside. So that we have, uh, uh, you, you can keep uh, the maintaining your better the, this uh, model tree, so instead of uh, keep everything outside. So like here is we have the business functions. So we have logistic function, production function. So you can read from here. Then when you open that is uh, you have the value stream something and uh, also have the hierarchy. You have the physical process and you have the hierarchy. It's easier when people read from your tree. Uh, you, they know is you have two parent process and on logistic process you, you got this. So uh, that that is uh, my suggestion is uh, whenever you do a new model, uh, at that time when you got uh, a time, you make a better uh, structure of your uh, the model tree uh, folders. Uh, then that is uh, make clean and easier later on to to read and uh, find your element. Uh, and again, the finally, is a uh, nice uh, update uh, of uh, dates and uh, your name. Uh, so that's all for this uh, figure three. Uh, thank you for watching. Next video is uh, maybe uh, is a, a little longer. We will look at this uh, physical uh, the elements uh, breaking down. Uh, talk later then. Bye.